Beta alanine is a type of amino acid, is classified as a non-essential amino acid because we do make it and it is found in red meat and poultry. Now, beta alanine is also a dietary supplement. You could purchase it by itself and it's found in several pre-workout supplements. So it's popular because it's supposed to help regulate lactic acid metabolism in the blood and may improve your exercise performance. Personally, I never bought into that hype. However, there may be a reason why you might not want to take beta alanine supplements anymore. So here is the paper I think you're going to be hearing a lot about in the near future. Plasma beta alanine is positively associated with the risk of ischemic stroke. Ischemic stroke is essentially a blood clot in the brain that cuts off blood circulation and oxygen circulation of the brain. So this investigation comes out of China. It involved over 16,000 people who were followed up for up to five years to see what happened after they measured their beta alanine levels and other things as well. They excluded people who had a history of cancer as well as a history of stroke too. And after this study is concluded, they report that there was a significant correlation between beta alanine levels in the blood and the risk of ischemic stroke. In other words, the higher the beta alanine levels were, the higher the risk of having a stroke was. And this increased risk of stroke was also found after they excluded things like body weight and smoking habits and even exercise. And I'll just paraphrase what the researchers state at one point in the research paper where they say that elevated levels of plasma beta alanine were significantly associated with an increased risk of ischemic stroke independent of other confounding variables such as body mass index, current smoking habits, educational attainment, physical activity, total calorie intake, and even family history in addition to stroke risk, hypertension, diabetes, high cholesterol levels, and even kidney problems. So they took all that stuff out and they still found an increased risk of ischemic stroke in people who had elevated levels of beta alanine. So what is going on here? Well, red meat is one source of beta alanine and it is possible that higher red meat consumption may raise beta alanine levels and maybe that's playing a role in the increased risk of stroke. But at the end of the day, there really isn't a good consensus on why this association between beta alanine and ischemic stroke appears to have been observed. This appears to be the very first study linking beta alanine levels and stroke risk. So as a rule of thumb, I generally like to see at least three investigations finding the same outcome. And right now we only appear to have one study. This appears to be the very first investigation that said, given the severity of the observation here, stroke, I think people may want to reconsider whether they want to be taking beta alanine supplements or not. Because of this investigation, I am calling out the dietary supplement industry to first further investigate this topic. Beta alanine is a very popular dietary supplement and because of that, the supplement industry themselves should be leading the way to figure out if beta alanine really is related to the risk of stroke. So what do you think about all this? Leave a comment below and if you've had beta alanine and you've had any kind of cerebral vascular problems, leave a comment below and let me know. I'm curious to know what happened. Hope this helped and until next time, take care out there.